sexy. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it is sexy. I don't think it's ever been called sexy. It's funny, it's sexy. So that's what it is. So those innovative smart folios, go. When you start out, we have everybody take one of three. You know, conservative, balanced, or aggressive. Standard language in the industry. A little different in functionality. Let me tell you how they each differentiate from each other. Aggressive is made up of things you might think would be aggressive. High potential growth, lots of tech in there. And the Amazons, the Facebooks, those kinds of things are, are in that particular smart folio, aggressive. Now, conservative, some people are thinking, oh, you're just throwing money in a bunch of bonds. No, 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 it's not how we work. Well, the way we're thinking in conservative, the way Kelly has built this, is conservative is made up of a bunch of stocks that aren't volatile. They don't have huge ups and downs, yet they pay good dividends. The dividends become the hedge over there, and so you're able to, to manage the risk of the drops with the dividend payouts. So the AI has a much higher tolerance over there for movement because it knows the dividend's coming. Does that make sense? Conservative. Simple. And imbalance is a, a mishmash of both. Now, once you set that up, when you go set up your software with us, you set that up. Really simple. You set it up, you pick your core, which one do you want? And then you have the opportunity later to go into some different ones, things like red oil, all energy, big tech. You can just invest in the S&P 500 if you want, despite it. You can have one thing, let the AI run it. Or for those of you that actually know what you're doing, some of you do, you can make your own. You can go into the universe of stocks and ETFs, and you can say, I want, 20% in that stock, I want 10% in that one, I want this much in that one, and I want this much always in cash. Yes? Can these uh, layer strategies be used in tandem? Have you seen that with the advisors? So All the time. They want to manage their fixed income portfolios for their client, but maybe yep. they use a, a strategy for S&P exposure? Yep, absolutely. And there's S&P exposure in every one of them. Yep. There is. It's, it is baked in, but you can also do that. And you could say- I love the you, concentrations. Yeah. Being able to overlay your, your technology on concentrations is... Yeah, it's pretty sexy. cool. Yeah, it is sexy. <laughs> That's funny. I don't think it's ever been called sexy. It's funny, it's sexy. <laughs> it is, it is. It's fun. But the, the, the whole, that's the concept. So yes, you could have maybe, you know, a hundred grand up in your conservative. You could have you know, 20 in red oil, 10 in the 4Q rotate, and maybe you want 10% over in just the S&P. Oh. Absolutely. So that's the whole idea behind it. And then you can truly, if you are educated in it and have the ability, you can create your own. You know? And you'll still probably do better than you would have done not creating your own. It's important. I'm trying to stay and make sure I stay on time. I'm good. So here's some actual performance numbers, right? I just pulled these. These are raw numbers on a couple of smart folios. Like this is the red oil one. I took one of the overlays. This is all the way back to 2020. This is how long it's been running live. It started in September of 2020, right? That's, you see there's all zeros. That means it wasn't invested. So minus one, 40, 56, and 10. Market was down how much in 2022? Mm -hmm. And that's where it was. But gas was high. Gas was high. So guess what happened? And guess what else is in that red oil smart folio? Pipeline companies that pay big dividends. So you start adding in six to eight percent dividends on top of these things, makes a huge difference. Conservative. So I want you guys to see the difference in the way they perform. Conservative, same time frame, seven, twelve, lost six percent last year, twenty-two. Only up nine right now. Right, but again, we still got a few months left. You know, there's three zeros, hasn't done anything yet. So those are, those are the real raw performance data of them. And I'm giving you the foundations, the balance, which was a little later to the party, right? Late 21, three minus three, but up of 15 this year. And the aggressive, lost two, up 15, up one, but again, late to the party, didn't get started till the end of 21 that particular smart folio. 
So like, like you said, spread them out. You don't want all of your money in any of one of those. We say diversification comes in multiple smart folios, not a ginormous book of stocks like a mutual fund. Thank you.